forgive me and I have believed in a lie that you were unable to, to this message many people need deliverance on it but they don't know that they need deliverance on this type of topic they don't know they need deliverance on this type of issue but God will deliver us in Jesus name the title is Maximizing the Currency of Life. Let me ask a question. What is the currency of life? Who can tell me what the currency of life is? That is part of it, but the real currency of life. God bless you. Clap for Jesus. Who said time there? Yes, you are in the spirit. All of you are in the spirit, but she is more in the spirit. Maximizing the currency of life. Let me put it in a mild in a mild form or in a milder way. Maximizing your time. A lot of people need deliverance on time, on how to maximize it, on how to use their time. I've seen a lot of papers. They put obituary, 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 obituary. Research shows that those people that they put obituary, maybe about 50% of them actually fulfill their destiny. Why? Because there are time wasters that has contributed failure in one way or the other to their lives. Open your book to the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3. Verse 1. From verse 1. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, from verse 1. I just, we only need verse 1. Are we there? Very good. Let's read it together. To everything, there is a season and a time. To every purpose under the heaven. Let's go to it again. To everything, there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. Many things that some of us could do, or some of you could do, when you are at the age of 10, the type of energy you have. When you are a teenager, by the time you get to 20, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, some of those energy started diminishing. There are certain things that have to be done at a specific or at a period of time. If somebody missed that period, it is very difficult to catch up. It was David that prayed. He said, people are spending their years like a dream that we are having. But if it's, it's only God that can teach us to number our days in the path of wisdom. He said, he now prays, oh Lord, teach us to number our days in the path of wisdom. Children that are born of a woman, they have short life. And this is what we must understand today. That time and tide waits for no man. Whatever you are supposed to achieve, calculate the time because that is the currency of life. What is time? And why is it so important to us? Why are we talking about time? Why is it a challenge for people to control time. Why is it that you don't have control over time? When it is time for 12 noon, it's 12 noon, it's predicted. It's already ordained. When it's time for 3 o'clock, 3, three will knock. When it is 6, the time for evening to come, you can't stop it. You need to control the heavenlies or speak to the maker of the time. 
and he doesn't give time when he's going to do his work. That is why it's difficult to control. There are five moments in management. There are five M's in management that are very, very critical. All those M's are very easy to manage. Man, you can manipulate people in management. You can use Machiavellian approach. You can use branch approach. You can use Fayol approach. You can use Taylor's approach. You can use Abraham Maslow's approach. These are some of the management experts who have studied human beings and how to deal with them. You can manipulate them. You can manage them. No matter how difficult a person is, you can manage it. Money. You can manage money. You can have control over money. You can have, have control over, over men. You can have control over materials. You can have control over the methodology which you use to deliver some of these strategies. But there's one thing that you cannot control. Moment at this time. When that moment passes away, you cannot rewind the hand of the clock back and say, please, I'm sorry, I slept off at that time. It was brother Julius that was disturbing me, one of my friends, that made the time to pass away. It was because I went somewhere. I didn't know the time would pass like that. Can you please rewind it back for me so that I have more time? You cannot do that. You can rewind man back. Plead to the man, please come and do this for me again. You come back. You can rewind the money. You can rewind materials. You can rewind your methodology. But you can't rewind time or moment. Bow down like this and pray. Say, oh Lord. My time are in your hand. Let me use it favorably. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Open your book to the book of Ephesians chapter 5. Ephesians chapter 5. Let's look at verse 16. Are we there? If I say, if I say, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Redeeming the time because the days are what? Are evil. Why should we redeem the times? The days are evil. Paul was warning the Ephesians, was advising them. The same time of yesterday is the same today. If you think that time is not important, if you think, why are we talking about time? That is not important. Talk to somebody or a farmer who appreciates the value of season, whose livelihood depends on planting at the right season and harvesting at the right season. If you think time is not important, why are we talking about time? Look at how a student who failed his exam, how we value one year that they ask the, child, the student to repeat. If you think time is not very important, consider a pregnant woman that carries pregnancy in his womb for nine months. How precious that nine months to that. When they're about to deliver, they'll be counting it. Time is very important. If you say time is not important, Look at how the realization of one week to those of us who are pastors, how we have to prepare a message, how we have to receive phone calls, how we have to solve our own personal problem, we have to solve our own career problem, we have to solve other individual members' problem, we have to solve family problem. Somebody around me some days ago, he said, Pastor, I've been trying to reach you on the phone. You didn't return my call. What's your problem? I said, I don't have a problem, but the problem is that I have to challenge you with time. I have to manage the time. Sometimes you want to do many things. But before you look at the time, it's 12 midnight. 
at the time why you need to manage the time. If you think time is not important, look at a debtor who is pleading for one day to get a grace of one day to find out how he can repay his money. If you think time is not important, look at a, at a patient that is suffering in the hospital. The value of one hour to that, that patient before the doctor comes and they say the doctor will come in about one hour's time and the pain is, so, is severe. Look at the patient who is growing in the hospital. If you think time is not important, consider a traveler. One day we were going, I was in London. This woman is carrying a baby on the pram and he has leather box to carry. She was running. She was dragging it, pushing the baby, pushing the pram, dragging it back. She was rushing to enter a bus. And I think that bus, if that bus should go, the, the bus were not running regularly. It would take another one hour. And she was rushing for an appointment. I saw this woman, she was running. Madam, can I help you? He said, yes, sir. I can help him. I carried the baby and the pram. We were both running. We were both running. We were both running. We were both running. We were just entering that place. The man wanted to close the gate, but she managed to push herself inside. Just a few seconds to miss it. And when she entered, come and see the joy of the woman. Those of you who are running after train and you're about to miss the train just by one minute, when you enter PIM and the door is locked, you value one minute. That one minute that you save. That is why we must value time. What is time? The passing away of seconds. The passing away of minutes. The passing away of hours. The passing away of days. The passing away of weeks. The passing away of months. And the passing away of years. That is what is called time. If you cannot maximize one second, you will find it difficult to maximize one year. What is a time? A time is a period between two events. What is a time? A time is a scarce resources, a scarce commodity that you cannot, you have no control over. Any moment is a fraction of our time. There are some basic points I want you to understand. In those days when we were in school, when they are telling us some of those things, we'd be singing. I didn't know that they were drilling into our ears to appreciate time. They will say, from the time we were in kindergarten, they will say, tick says that clock. Tick, tick. What you have to do, do quick. And we start singing with it. The teacher will say, We'll be dancing. Tick, says the clock. Tick, tick. What you have to do, do quick. It was when we started growing that we started appreciating that what they were drilling to our ears, those teachers, they were drilling to us to learn how to do things on time. My father used to give me one proverb. If you say, Olu, I say, sir, make haste while the sun shines to be useful and happy. This is the way. We show that making haste while the sun shines will make you useful and happy. And that is the only way to greatness. Bow down your head and pray like this. Say, power that wants to waste my time so as to make me useless. Da! In the name of Jesus. Pray that power that I want to waste our time. How to make you useless. Command that power to die. In Jesus' name we are prayed. You see, those in the kingdom of darkness, if they are going to finish someone, they will put, they will go and find a way to waste that person's time. If he's a very intelligent student, what others will achieve in two or three years, they can delay it 
for 10 years. And when the time is too long, it brings frustration. The agenda of evil power is to frustrate using time. You are going to pray like this. Say, any wicked power that wants to frustrate my life through a fluctuation of time. Let me put it in the same line. Say, any power that wants to frustrate my life through delays of time be arrested in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Why I want us to take time serious? We should not be un- unaware of the devices of the devil. Some people struggle, they struggle, they work so hard to get a certificate. Look at the time people have spent to get a certificate. They have wasted their time to get that certificate. Then t- sometimes they are wasted to get a job. Looking for a job, the job that will take more than one or two years. Some people are on that job for the first five, six, seven years. And when they get that job, that certificate is almost useless. And some are programmed to go and waste time on jobs that are not in their destiny. You are going to pray like this again. Say, any power that has programmed me into a useless destiny. So as to waste my time. Be frustrated. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are praying. There are some basic silent points I want us to know about time. Time flies over us, but it leaves the shadow behind. Tough times never last, but tough people last. Who are these tough people? The tough people are people who can recognize time and they maximize it. Time is what we want most. And it is what we use worst. Time and tide will not wait for any man or woman. You must make haste while the sun shines. Understand one thing today. The most valuable thing a man can spend is time. It's not money. The most valuable thing you can spend is time. If you calculate the right time, you can hit the right money. Give you an example. A millionaire wants to have a meeting with you. You have been scheduled this meeting, looking for this opportunity. And it it really comes once in a year. And he says, meet me at 3 p.m. on so-so-so day, so-so date, at so-so place. If the rich man, the millionaire is there, is there at 3 p.m. And somebody now goes there. The person who is supposed to be there at 3 p.m. or maybe before 3 p.m. reaches there at 4 p.m. And the billionaire has gone. Because of not managing that time, the money, the destiny that could have changed has been affected. That is why time is very important for us. Open your book of the book of Genesis 24, verse 11, quickly. Genesis 24, verse 11. Are we there? And he made his camels to kneel down without the city by a well of water at the time of the evening. Even the time that women go out to draw what? To draw water. There's a time to do things. There's a time not to do things. And that is why God created time and seasons. These are the moments that we must capitalize on. The time you have access to information, to people, to resources, to materials that can change your life. If you miss that time, it will be very difficult to recapture it. That is why we must redeem times. Because all days are evil. There was a a Christian brother. He was looking for this admission. 
for many years. The time he was to travel to go and meet the person who wanted to help him, support him, he couldn't travel because he lacked finances. When he now got the money, the time has passed. He traveled and they told him that that man has just died. That is the one that they buried the man about two or three days ago. He posted into tears. Till today, that man never got his admission. He ended up with school start. You can imagine what time has done for many people. This man who is running the biggest company in the world, General Electric, Cap Welch, he said if there is one thing, he will not joke with his time. When you look at people who have made it in life, one thing they can never play with is time. There is day time, there is night time, there is time of travel, there is time of harvest, there is time of sorrow, there is time of happiness. There is a time we have winter, we have summer, we have autumn. We need to understand all these times. There is an appointed time. If there is no appointed time, how about cook the prophet? We don't say, write down the vision on a tablet so that he that readeth it may run. It is meant for an appointed time. He said, wait for it. It will not tarry. That is Prophet Habakkuk. Jesus Christ has a strong time management. That was why what took Aristotle, what took people like Julius Caesar, what took so many scientists several years to develop, to achieve, he achieved it within three years. Jesus Christ, our Savior, he knew how to calculate time and how to maximize it. He knew the time he could take over. He knew the time he could take over. As the person sitting near you, say, my brother, don't be angry. Do you know the time to take over? And do you know the time to take over? God will help us in Jesus' name. The Bible says Jesus Christ will go early in the morning. He will withdraw to the seaside. Early in the morning. What was he doing? Communicating with God. There's a time that you send your message across to God. It will travel fast. There's a time your network may fail. There's a time your internet connection speed may be very slow. There's a time your connectivity may be very fast. Do you take note of what this time? That is what the strategy our Lord Jesus Christ used. He knew the time, the message will go fast. The Bible says early in the morning. He goes out to communicate with God. He whether we go to the seaside or to the wilderness side or to a quiet place to communicate with God. And that, that is why David said it in Psalm 5. He said, Hearken unto my voice, O Lord. My voice thou shalt hear early in the morning. And that is why our beloved Geo says, as a Christian, you must command the morning. When you command the morning, it has some specific reasons there are some specific requests you can make at that time which you cannot make in some other hours. There are some specific challenges you can put to God at that time. And God will hear you. All of us, we have time that we do things best. We have time that we achieve best. Do you achieve? Do you know the time you achieve best? Some are early risers. Do you maximize of that early morning? Some operate best in the afternoon. Do you, operate, do you know how to maximize that afternoon time? Some operate best in the night. Do you know how to maximize those times? One of the mistakes some people are making is that the time you are trying to maximize your time, there are so many time wasters. There are so many distractions that comes along the line. 
That is when people phone. People use a lot of things. Radio and TV. Video. Useless calls. Useless chats. Useless engagement. Unwelcome friends. Unwelcome visitors. Visitors that want to take away your time. And when you need their time, they don't have time for you. Friends that want to take your time. When you need their time, when you need their attention, they don't give you attention, not to even talk of time. Phone calls that can never change your life. They waste your money, waste your time, waste your minutes, waste your, you go and pay at the end of the day and you have nothing to gain from it. Shots, messages that cannot add value to your life. Internet surfing that can really waste your time. Visiting websites, website that the site that cannot even add a value to your to your to your, to your qualification or improve you it only waste your time you leave some website you, you go you become sad gossip that only make you offend god that can turn god against you they waste your time on gossip they come turn your house into a home of gossip the time you should be planning your future you are discussing discussing other people Great people, great men discuss ideas. But lesser men discuss events. They come to you, they trouble you, waste your time. At the end of the day, what they are saying is recorded in the heavens against you. Which can anger God. What's the purpose of wasting time? Our Joe said there's one thing today that has been implemented in the world. Which is a big problem. Said this thing is the greatest witchcraft he has seen. And when we ask him, we say, what is this? He said, television. And if you look at television, once you are glued to a particular program, you want that program to end. And as it is ending, another one starts. 24 hours, like that. Each time you click, you press it, you only see something interesting that can tie you down. Some people have got some specific program that they can watch. When they record it, episode 1, episode 2, episode 3, episode 4, episode 5, Forever. The time we spend on these things, if we spend it in our career, we will not be poor. They asked uh, Richard Branson, how do you manage to, how are you coping with all the business, change of businesses you have? How is it that you are able to become a multimillionaire over these years? He said, I manage my time. When that man wants to eat, it will be corn that is eating. He has allocated time for that corn. That 10 minutes I'm going to use to eat this corn and drink water. If you phone him at that time, your phone is ringing, he won't pick the phone. No matter how close you are to him, if you finish that corn, drink water, make sure he's happy. When he's going to meet you, he has already scheduled time to meet you. And if you miss that time, good luck to you. Do we have diary where we put our times? Do we have people that we welcome? Or anybody can just come into your house and bounce on you? If people can phone you anytime and they can, you can pick the call anytime, which is the challenge we Africans have? The time we give to our telephones, calls, we don't give one-tenth to the Bible, to the Word of God. The time we spend on telephone calls, we don't give one-third of that time. To build our careers. We only wake up to remember that there is time wasted when we know that the year is running to an end. We will continue next week. If we don't finish it because the time is going, we will continue next week. I have no power of my own. I have no I have no power of my own. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, I look up to you, help me, I have no power of my own.